Hi, my name is Margret. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to string interpolation. An interpolated string expression creates a string by replacing the contained expressions with the two string representations of the expression's results. Interpolated strings can be used wherever string literals can be used. Let's look at an example. Here we create a string that lists a city and its area. This is the interpolated string. Note the dollar sign. An interpolated string always starts with a dollar sign. It uses double quotes as delimiters, just like any other string in C-sharp. It can include plain text and some content that is surrounded by curly braces. The curly braces and whatever is in between is going to be replaced with a string. How that string is going to look like depends on the content between the curly braces. In our case, those are simple variables. City would be replaced with the value of the variable city, for example Paris. And area would be replaced with the corresponding area, for example 40.7 square miles. If we would print the text, the output would look like this. City Paris, area 40.7. Let's create a new interpolated string that represents the population of Paris. We create an integer variable population and assign it the value greater 2 million. Then we use it in an interpolated string expression that assigns a value to text 2. When we print text 2 it looks like this. Such large numbers can be a little hard to read. Let's include group separators. We can do that by adding colon n. The n after the colon indicates that the value should be formatted as a number including group operators. Notice the decimal point and the two zeros. Including decimal digits doesn't make sense in our context. By adding a number Next to the n, we can specify the precision. Zero means that we want zero digits after the decimal point. And in that case, the decimal point won't be displayed either. And all that is left is the whole number and a period at the end of the sentence. We can do all kinds of formatting in connection with interpolated strings. We could, for example, add a specification for the column width. To do that, we use a comma and the number indicating how wide the column should be. Notice how two extra spaces were inserted. Now the population is displayed in a column that is 11 characters wide. So far we looked at interpolation strings that included variables and some formatting. Instead of variables, we could also use expressions. Here is an example where we have a variable diameter and we want to create a string that shows the value of the radius. We can do that by placing the expression diameter divided by 2 between the curly braces. And when we print text 3, we'll see that the radius is 2.15. 